Hey everybody, it's Diana. I'm coming to give you guys an ultrasound. Last, well, 10 days ago I had my first ultrasound and I was weighing at, I mean measuring at 5 weeks and 5 days and um, you know, I thought, you know, I thought it was off by a week but the doctor was like, oh, it's fine, you know, didn't have any concerns or whatever. Congratulations, you're pregnant, he said. So, you know, I didn't think anything of it. So, 10 days later, which was yesterday, I went in for my second ultrasound. And the baby is measuring the same. Five weeks, five days. So, when the nurse or practitioner or whatever said that, I knew that it was a problem. And she said, this, is, this doesn't look good. She was very honest, you know. So it doesn't look good and you know you're really supposed to be eight weeks today she said it's okay to be off by a week but not off by what I am and that she would have to bring me back um, Monday so obviously this makes for a very long weekend yes long weekend um, um, I think that I know what it is she didn't say it but I think it's a blighted ovum. Ugh. I don't even want it. It's terrible. I cried a bit. I just I just can't believe it. We were so excited to be pregnant for the first time with our first IVF. So we were super excited. And then to have news that, you know, the baby is just not growing or nothing's happening in there. It does make you a little sad, pretty much. Um, but we did think we saw, like, pulsating in the sack. But it was really hard for her to tell. So that's why she wants to see me back on Monday to determine what to do next. So that's what's gonna that's what's happening. And I just have to, you know, deal with what we got going on and realize God doesn't make any mistakes and it may be a chromosomal issue. So we're just dealing, my husband and I just dealing with that. I just hate thinking of doing it again thank god i froze five embryos thank you jesus because that trans that uh retrieval was terrible so i'm just so happy that we froze so i would just have to come up with the copay and i would probably have my another transfer in the new year sometime in the new year that's how long it would take me to get the, the copay <laughs> but um everything happens for a reason and i have my appointment monday morning so I'll keep you guys updated. I feel terrible, and that's why I made this video. But if somebody else is going through the same thing, I'd want them to hear somebody going through it. Um, and it's pretty common, apparently. So, I'll keep you guys updated. Please keep us in your prayers. Okay, goodbye.